Welcome everyone to Supreme Television, and thank you guys for tuning in to the first installment of the Off Topic Podcast. Today with me I have Brandon from Stuttering Skies, hey. I got Colt from uh, The Red Colt, hey. I guess, okay, I was wondering if he's going to say hey, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> anyway guys, for any of y'all wondering what the Off Topic Podcast is going to be and what is it about, basically it's about us starting with a single topic in the beginning. And we're going to basically just go, you know, topic to topic. Um, it's not planned or anything. Uh, we may end up coming back around to the original topic. Or we may be completely off topic to the very end of the video. And there makes the name the Off Topic Podcast. So, anyway. Anyway, for um, everybody watching this, thank you guys. Um, and if you uh, like our content... Uh, please hit that like button and subscribe. And go check out Colt's channel and go check out Brand's channel. Um, really yeah. cool guys. Um, I've known them for a long time. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's get this going. Anyway, Chief, I hear that you are uh, working on getting a computer, or you already have one, but you just need a GTX 970 you said you was going to want to get and some speakers. That's really yep. about it. I have um, a pretty nice computer with a graphics card that can't play anything. Yeah, and that was, I think you said and it was the, yeah. A Radeon 6, 6, uh, other numbers. <laughs> it's, anyway. the, it's the 6670. <laughs> yeah, that's it, 6670. So yeah, that is a hug of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nah, other that than that, though, we, 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 I know that you actually have a pretty good build. <laughs> you just need a new graphics card and um, yeah, and uh, speakers, and that's about it. You'd be good to go. Um, yeah, any ga- my teacher gave me uh, my teacher gave me this uh, like bar speaker that like clips to the bottom of it, but it doesn't work or fit. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Um. I mean, what do you plan on playing on PC once you actually get this thing up and going? Um, well, I'd like to get some of the older, um, some older Bethesda games, so maybe some older Fallout games and um, Oblivion and Morrowind are definitely things I want to get. Which, yeah. I mean, technically I could play those with my crappy card I have now, but I just <laughs> yeah. don't want to yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. And Exceder, we know you got a gaming rig with uh, you have a 480 in it with uh, I think eight gigs of RAM, I believe, right? Is that what you said with a i5? Uh, yes, it does. Okay, <clears throat> cool. So he's pretty set. We just now need to yeah. wait on Colt here. And by the way, quick, yep. uh, I guess uh, let everybody know if you hear me calling Colt Chief or hearing me calling Brandon Exceder, that's their PSN name. So just don't pay any attention to that. But anyway. Plus, Seth forgets our names pretty frequently, so he'll probably also call us names like Mike, Miz, <laughs> maybe, maybe KT, things yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, speaking about PC gaming, though, um, mm-hmm. I know that uh, I've been me. I've been wanting you guys to get. Ark Survival of all for some time. Now I got like 300 plus hours now, which that's probably nothing compared to some other people out there, but uh-huh. to me it's a lot. And I really hope you guys end up eventually picking that game up because that game is really, really fun. I I definitely want to get Ark. Um, I I would I would definitely like to get Ark on um, PC. I thought about getting it on console, but I don't know. It just seems like more of a PC game to me. Right. So, um... You're probably not really going to get ARC, I guess, on console. Because I've been trying to talk to you guys getting on console, too, just because I can't wait that long for you to get your PC. I can play with Exedra, but he's kind of boring by, by, you know, when you're just playing with him. By, by yourself and nobody else. I'm just kidding, Cedra. Yeah, that, that's yeah. true. Cedra can be a very boring person. I can be. He don't even fight with you. About it. <laughs> <laughs> and, unless we're discussing like stuff like Naruto, Dragon Ball, any like anime-related topic. Anime porn, yeah. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> so speaking of Naruto, it, if you if you want to see some uh, some good uh, m- random fights of Naruto, check the check the podcast out on my channel. I have Naruto open Ultimate Ninja Storm. Don't be advertising uh, on my so... channel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. we didn't say any topic. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Um. So, but anyway. Um. I don't know. What about you, Xeer? I mean, are you going to end up getting an arc on PC though when Chi picks it up? I eventually right? will. It's just uh, right now I have a new car payment to deal with first, and, t- and, and then whenever I, I, I pay my first payment, then I'll get it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> but I, I know I have enough money to do it. Yeah, we're all feeling Speaking the pain. Speaking of cars, though. Speaking of cars, though, I just got a new uh, 2014 Kia Forte. It's amazing. I, I drive a Chevy Cavalier. <laughs> mm-hmm. I drive a punch bug. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> huh. um, I blew my engine up, but somehow it still runs. <laughs> How? Uh, wasn't entirely as an engine blowing up. Basically, I drove it while it had an oil leak. And um, it did not. It didn't. In, it didn't indicate that it was out of oil. So one of the oil lines exploded, and I drove it to my dad's with zero oil in it, not realizing. And when I got there, it smelled like it was on fire. Yeah. But it wasn't. And somehow it survived. So. Why? Well, I mean, I know my car has been leaking oil actually. Um... A little bit, but not enough to, I guess, matter. So I haven't really paid it much. Any <laughs> then if I, you, uh, I would, I would, I would check the, uh, the. Um... We've already, we already went and checked it out or whatever, but they said it wasn't even a big deal. They said just leave it. Hmm. So it's like it's such a, it's it's just such a, a fraction of a, I mean, I guess of a drop. It's not even a big, it's not even a big concern, I guess. So honestly, I didn't even know about it until somebody just said, oh yeah, I found out your oil was leaking, and I was like, oh. Well, shit. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even know. And then they was like, but it's good, though. So, um, <laughs> that was when, yeah, I'm not even going to go in details of where I was about that. But anyway, um, <laughs> speaking about back to the PC topic, though, I know, um, Steam recently added, um, DualShock 4 support. And I know how Ooh. Chief is always talking about, or Colt, uh, He's always talking about how he wants to have a controller on PC or whatever, and he's been looking to... Mm-hmm. And I know um, Brandon here, he bought him a PC controller, but um, I was going to yeah. say, Ch- Chief, um, I think you're... you can. I don't know how good it works. I don't know yet, but from my understanding, you should be able to plug up your controller right up to your PC and play uh, Steam games with your PS4 mm-hmm. controller. That sounds pretty mm-hmm. nice, because from the little mouse and keyboard experience I have... I know I'm terrible at it. I know it's something I'll have to get better at if I ever want to really play PC a lot. But right now mm-hmm. I suck at it. And I still like controllers for some games. And I don't want to buy an Xbox controller. And I guess that is Speaking understandable. Speaking of controllers for, for games, that Castle Crasher games that I bought you, uh, I, I, I do recommend, recommend using a, tro- a controller for it. And honestly, as somebody who has played PC for a long time now, I, I think I kind of can agree with that just because I did play it with him. And I've never played it before, but it does seem more... I mean, you can play it mouse and keyboard, but it is... Uh, I don't know. It is it is weird, I guess. I don't know. It feels funny. Yeah. And I feel yeah. like... That is true. Like, even though playing on PC, like, some games on PC work better with controllers. Like... Mm-hmm. And it might be because we all console players, though, too. I mean, probably somebody who plays strictly PC yeah. would probably disagree with us. You know, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. A lot. I yeah, don't know. But but... They're, not, they're not part of the cast of the show, so. <laughs> <laughs> Go to his channel and dislike all his videos. The one video he does. Have. All my one video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and then you can dislike all of Exedra's one have... video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My one proof video for from Rockstar that they had a glitch in their their system. How about you tell everybody yeah. um, about that video? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I, uh, I, I, was, I was doing the, the math rhyme challenge with Chief and a couple of other friends, and uh, we, we were doing the, uh, what was the mission again, name again? It, it... I forget, it's the one where you have to use <laughs> night vision and blow the door open. <laughs> yeah, and you, 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 have, you, have, you have to swim down and use the rebreathers and stuff like that. Well, whenever I, I, got, I jumped in the water, my, my guy went into free fall and then died. He fell straight through the water to the ground and died. Yeah. And if you don't believe and... that, go check out his video. <laughs> yeah. and, and if you don't have any clue what we mean by Mastermind Challenge, uh, GTA Five has online heists, and one of the challenges for them is to go through all the heists on the hardest difficulty without any members dying. And know you get and like ten million died. dollars or something if you do. Yeah, you get a lot. Dollars. Yeah. And Exedra died because he fell through the water and died. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you said uh, KT, the guy you was playing with, was uh, pretty mad or something. Or he at first seemed pretty mad. He he was he was really mad at first because he kind of thought that Exedra had done something wrong, but after he saw the video, he was he, he got over it. Yeah, kind of and then, then, then then we actually died during the uh, during the air, air, aircraft carrier thing where with the jet. Yeah, yeah actually, right. So it didn't matter anyway. So yeah, <laughs> you gonna die anyway, or maybe not. <laughs> you just didn't have that you know spirit to continue onward. You know that huh. determination because you know you died in the previous well, one. You're like, why does life matter? Yeah. Anymore? <laughs> We went ahead. We actually went ahead and went through all the heists just because there are other bonuses. There was like an extra million you get just for doing all the heists together with the same group, mm -hmm. and we did that too. Uh, however, I didn't get the money, and neither did my friend Mohawk. For some reason, everybody got the extra million except for me and him. <laughs> That's weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't and, know. We've uh, we've spent a lot of time on Grand Theft Auto. I mean, God. Still nowhere near as, you know, as Red Dead, but... Yeah. I think I've put more time into it than I did Red Dead, but I think I probably had more, like, memorable moments on Red Dead. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately for me, I, I, had re I had Red Dead for Xbox, and I, I didn't meet any of you guys in there. Unfortunately. Yeah. Yep, he missed a great time. That's where I met... That's where I met Colt. Mm -hmm. Five That's years where you ago. you met all your friends. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, maybe he'll get a chance to uh, experience Red Dead with us when Red Dead 2 comes out. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm hoping that, honestly, is as good as is the first one. I mean, I don't... I, I want them to... Because there's some elements of Grand Theft Auto Online that I really liked, and I hope they do bring those over, but there's a lot of bad things okay. about Grand Theft Auto Online I don't want them to take over. Um, yeah, like uh, like the hacking systems, like modded. You, you, hopefully, you there's no it. hacking in Red Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that... of course there's going to be, <laughs> but like you gotta say it. Hopefully, there's no hacking. There's going to be though. No. Hacking in Red Dead? Nah. I. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Not in 1865. I think I think <laughs> Seth might be looking at hacking in the wrong way here. What are we talking about? Oh, I, I are we think, talking about the yeah. oh, um, oh, the glitches and that, stuff? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's okay because that's what made the first Red Dead <laughs> so fun. <laughs> yeah, but I'm talking about like the invincibility invincibility glitch. What you didn't like that glitch? That glitch was no, awesome. I mean, it's <laughs> fun when right. you have it. It's just not fun when <laughs> anyone else has it. Yeah. Dude. You know, I have to wonder, though, what kind of, like, programming mistakes have to be made to make it to where you can get shot in the back of the head while running into a door in a specific <laughs> town... <laughs> And somehow that makes you respawn invincible? Well, that's the thing. I think a lot of people, the, one of the theories was, was that a lot of them glitches was put there on purpose. 
So I mean, yeah, that's true. Like they can I mean, honestly, but think about it. Them glitches didn't get fixed for the longest time, and when they did, guess what? There's another way to do it, uh, and yeah. somebody like, figured it out. So how do these people figure it out? They just go over there, hey, let's go shoot our head in this door instead of this door. Somebody what has was to the, leak uh, it out. Flying That's glitch. The thing. You, how did the flying glitch go? You had to like throw. <sighs> there was different like ways to do that. It, it was different. Like people did it differently. Um, there used to be a wagon glitch. I like that you would do it with the wagon, and you would shoot up in the air or something. I can't remember. It's been so long, but I used to love that glitch and. There was the you you had the invincibility, the invisible, the speed, and the flying glitch, and there was more. But the ones I used personally um, was I, I, you know, I didn't use it all the time, but it was enjoyable, and I I wouldn't say I abused it, but it was it was enjoyable. <laughs> um, it was I, I would love doing the invincibility glitch with the invisible glitch, and that way mm-hmm. you could go. And the way Invisible Glitch was, you would technically leave your body outside the map, but come in the map with your body. It was basically like a, you was a spirit, I guess. I don't know how you would describe that. But <laughs> people, like, let's say you're in Armadillo, and you left your body up there in Blackwater outside the map where no one can't find you. Because if somebody finds your body up there, mm-hmm. they can kill you. So you we would glitch outside the map. And uh, once you did that glitch and you shot, let's just say, somebody in Armadillo, it would come up and say they got shot from somebody in Blackwater or tall trees or something and people would be like well how's that and sometimes I would use a sniper rifle and it was mm-hmm. hilarious because they would think you're literally sniping them that far away but you're not you're actually right mm-hmm. behind them you can even I knife them guy, and it would say I had a guy do that to me and he just kept using like the little cattleman pistol which is the weakest pistol in the game Yeah. and it, I, it really confused me because I didn't really know about the glitch at the time so I just ended up, like, hiding in a barn with, like, a shotgun and just kept shooting at random corners, hoping I would hit something. Yeah, yeah. Mm, wow. and that's how I discovered it myself, honestly, was because, um, I want to say it was with one of, the, honestly, I think I ended up adding this guy. Um, I remember getting stabbed in the back, and they said he was, like, all the way down in Mexico or something, and basically that's where it, you know... And, you know, that's where I got interested in trying to figure out how to do that. And I've, I met this one guy who showed us how to get outside the map, and that's kind of where it started. I met this guy, and he took us to this huge crater. We'd have huge, like, gang fights there because it looked like a giant, like, battlefield. Like, you could go and just, like, you have one one team on one side and another team on the other side. So it was really, uh, it was really enjoyable doing that. Mm-hmm. And the invincible glitch, the speed glitch was even how more hilarious. It's like, if you did that... You you were stuck in dead dead eye mode, and you can use that buffalo rifle as like a machine gun. <laughs> so it wasn't like a slow reload. Like you could go boom 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 boom, and people were like, "How are you doing that?" And then you could also like out on foot outrun the zebra donkey or any other mount, and it was kind of funny. <laughs> so <laughs> you know what was one of the weirdest versions of like the flying glitch? I remember like I was playing like way back when I was part of this clan. Um, we were gonna like attack this uh, one of the gang locations where you fight AIs and um, our clan leader wanted to use the flying glitch to get an aerial view so he could record it and put it on YouTube and uh, mm-hmm. I, he said nobody pull out a throwing knife nobody equip a throwing knife and I was like I wonder why That's, like I didn't know I why that. and I pulled out the throwing knife, and he fell out of the sky and died. So yeah. I quickly, yeah. I quick, I put it away, and everyone was like, "Who pulled out the throwing knife?" And I just put it away, and I was like, oh, "I don't know." <laughs> <laughs> and I remember that. And see, that's a that's a. How does that make any sense? Yeah, because apparently any player equipping a throwing knife that's, like, in your vicinity just cancels out the glitch and you fall to the ground. <laughs> Speaking of the flying glitch, I, I, I was playing the story mode once, and I, I, I came across a floating wagon. It wasn't moving, it was just in the air. Was this on I Red Dead, it twice. right? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is the one Red Dead Redemption. I, I remember um, seeing them flying buggies too, yeah. And honestly, I want to say that's like, maybe why that buggy was for the flying glitch, because it was already glitched out to begin with or something. 
I yeah. don't know. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it's kind of, a lot of these bugs are, like, reoccurring, though, because, like, I, I've noticed, like, pretty much all Rockstar games have those bugs with, like, floating vehicles, because GTA yeah. 4, I'd see floating cars every now and again, and, um, not as much with GTA 5, but I want to think I've seen at least a couple floating vehicles. Yeah, yeah. I have. I think they were getting so, better at it, but I mean, the problem with GTA Five they... isn't isn't mostly glitches. It's mostly people just having a lot of money. Yeah. 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 Plus, there really there really are no like, there's really not any like glitches, like any like glitches that are fun to do in GTA Five. Yeah. There are really. The first glitch I ever done was in Red Dead. I mean that I remember that I did on purpose, and it was glitching yeah. over that building in Mexico. That that was the very that was the glitch that done it all for me. I think the fir first glitch that I did on purpose was um, the money glitch where you where, where we we be on that motorcycle and uh, at the docks. Oh, you would fail it would, or whatever. Uh, no, you 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 it was, it was a race. It was you. You'd start the race, oh, and yeah. nobody had to move, and you, mm -hmm. it, we individually ran ran into the uh, into the um, uh, the guard. Oh. And each time you did that, you got a certain amount of money, depending on how many players are in the in the thing. Which is another example of a glitch in a Rockstar game that makes absolutely zero sense. You get on yeah. motorcycles, ram a guardrail, and somehow you get money out of it, so... <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean... I've done a money glitch on Grand Theft Auto Five, and that's all I've done, I can say. And it was... I mean, I had $10 billion. They, we've done it twice. <clears throat> they found me They found me again, though, and took my money away. Um, so, I've kind of lost my interest in um. GTA Five now. <laughs> <laughs> the the closest I ever came to doing any of the money glitches was um when I had my friend like upgrade some of the Bugatti cars, which at the time were like the most expensive cars. Now they're dirty. Uh, he would just yeah he would just upgrade them and let me sell them. Yeah, um, can't even do that anymore. I remember you used to actually be able to give players money too, and that was how a lot of yeah, hackers gave money. That, that last that lasted like maybe a week before they got rid of that system. Yeah, mm -hmm. which was kind of stupid. So I, I like was watching this. I think that was stupid. I think that should still be. I in like there. how they, I like how they never bothered to actually like take away the option to share money. They just made it to where you can like not click on it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the yeah. only thing you can share is like money from previous jobs. Mhm. Mm yeah. Um. But. Back to, you know, like, Red Dead Redemption 2 coming out next year, like, I, I hope it's, like, I hope it's like, cause see, I, I liked Grand Theft Auto 5, I played it a lot, multiplayer and everything else, but something was missing about it, that when you play Red Dead, you just didn't have that feeling, or that, I guess, connection, I don't know, and I don't mm -hmm. think everybody understands that, because if you think about it, not really, compared to Grand Theft Auto, not as many people played Red Dead as they did Grand Theft Auto. Um, right. I think this next Red Dead coming up, though, will be the biggest. I truly believe yeah. it's going to make a lot of people, a lot of new people's going to be new to Red Dead. And that, I mean, that's completely great because, I mean, I think what Rockstar is planning to do with Red Dead, Redemption, I guess we should start saying, because it's not, obviously we know it's Red Dead Redemption 2. I think mm -hmm. what their plan is is kind of like how you have Grand Theft Auto. I think Red Dead Redemption is going to be its signature series, basically. I think they're going to basically work on those two series in the next decade or so. Yeah. I guarantee you're going to have Red Dead Redemption 3 or something else. I mean, you might even have like a spin-off like Red Dead Redemption, The Ballad of Gay Tony. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, nah, I mean, I think that's what they're planning and that's why i don't think that's now that i see it i think i know why they didn't call it like red dead 3 or red dead revolution i think they wanted to mm -hmm. say they wanted a title to stick like grand theft auto it's something easy to remember grand theft auto mm -hmm. red dead redemption i mean they're very simple titles. plus they uh plus they like their they like their names to be like abbreviated so gta rdr yeah mm -hmm. um well
Well, what? I don't have anything. Oh, Rock, I don't Rockstar, have anything. Rockstar, uh, <laughs> Rockstar did, did did come up with, come out with an old game called Min, uh, the Midnight uh, Midnight Club. They, yeah, they Midnight never, Club was never... fun. I I, I kind of want to say they're not going to make those anymore. And the reason yeah, I say not. that is, you look. When Midnight, look at when Grand Theft Auto came out, like San Andreas and stuff back then. And then you look at mm-hmm. Midnight Club when it came out and everything. Don't you see, like, they start, they stopped vehicle customization in Grand Theft Auto when Midnight Club was starting to get kind of, I guess, big or have its own thing. And you know why? Because they wanted people who wanted that kind of customization to buy Midnight Club. But now that I yeah. see that coming back into Grand Theft Auto with GTA V, I think that's kind of a signal to me that there's no more Midnight Club coming. If you want that type of midnight yeah, club not. feeling by Grand Theft Auto, that's what I think they're going to end up going. Does um does Rockstar no. have any other titles they work on right now other than Red Dead and GTA? Not as I know of. No. Nope. I mean, I mean they have a lot of good titles that they made, but they're mm-hmm. old. We don't know what. I mean, yeah. they could come out tomorrow and say, "Well, after Red Dead, we're making Bully 2. But see, Rockstar ain't that way. You know, they like. Announcing it exactly a year before it comes out and not delay it once oh, or yeah, twice. Oh yeah, I forgot they had Bully. Oh yeah. Uh, in terms of their best uh, games, I think Grand Theft Auto is their number one. I think Red Dead is their second. I think Red Dead is sold the second most. I think it's the second biggest franchise they own. Uh-huh. Which uh, makes sense because I think that's really the only actual second franchise they do have besides Midnight Nightclub. Yeah. Yeah, it's also like. Oh, and Max Payne. Interesting, because, like, yeah. But they haven't made a Max Payne game in a long time. Yeah, and even the recent one from 2011 kind of sucked. I didn't really like it leaving New York City. Hmm. Uh, I never played any of the Max Payne games, but I remember watching I the Max Payne movie and just thinking yeah, it was we... terrible. I like that movie. Yeah, it, it's like, I... Really? Yeah. It, it, so yeah, it was, it was good to me, but, like, I didn't understand what was going on. Like, I was younger. I had no idea what was going on. Well, you need to watch it again. <laughs> I do. I really do. I'm not saying it's the best all, movie all ever, he, but he, he maybe it's because I did play Max Payne. Like, I liked it because it reminded me of the originals, I guess. It did It did do a good job. In my opinion, people might disagree, but I, I think it did a good job of keeping that gritty, dark, you know, theme going. And that was what 1 and 2 was. Number 3 really wasn't dark and gritty. It was like sunny and beaches and Costa Rica or whatever, but dark at the same time. It really didn't make a lot of sense. I didn't like it. It was kind mm-hmm. of it was kind of dumb. I guess they was trying to do something different, but it was not a good type of different. They should have just kept it. There was these flashbacks he did have, though, where he was in New York City. And that was the best parts in Max Payne 3. That was the best parts in that entire game was when, the, when he went and had him flashbacks in New York City. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, the only the only thing I really remember from the movie is he dual wielded uh, pump shotguns. <laughs> yeah, I remember that too. That's it. That's it. That's, that's <laughs> the only thing I remember. Uh, Speaking of movies, uh, uh, working at Walmart, I get asked about movies that haven't even came out yet. It's like, uh, what do you think you are like a movie studio or something? <laughs> Yeah, but I think they were were a theater. I'm not entirely sure, but I I believe they think they were a theater that sells their movies. It's like <laughs> plus people see something coming out in theaters and think it has to be on disc already. But that's true yeah. too. No I know people like that. <laughs> it, but that's it, not how like... film works, because then they wouldn't make as much money in theaters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I don't want to do that. Crap. I think theaters uh, have gotten cheaper over the years, though, in terms of actually watching the movie. I remember they used to be expensive. But now it's just the food that's expensive and the movie's cheap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think the I reason know. that is is because people are kind of abandoning, I think, the theater deal. The only people that go there anymore is date couples, in my opinion. People who's on a date. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I went to see the... Uh, let's see. The last time I went to the movie theater, I think, was with my friends to see... Um, Ah, uh, it was a movie with uh, The Rock in it. Central That's Intelligence. Quite, Central okay, Intelligence. I was about to say, there was like a hundred of those movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah but I mean, I mean, it was recent, is what I was getting He's, at. I think he <laughs> made like 20 movies in the last year. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. It, 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 he's, he's been in a lot of things in the last year. Like, uh, the Moana. 
Oh yeah, uh, yeah, he was in the uh, Lana. Oh, when was uh, San Andreas? I forget. I think that was last. Was year. that? Uh, yeah. Has um. Uh, hmm? The last time, like I saw. Pretty much the only time I go to the movies is with my friends, and we always end up seeing comedies, which I don't care for comedies at all. I just go because they're going. Like the last okay. time I actually. The last time I actually went to like a movie theater to see something I really wanted to see was Star Wars was the last Star Wars movie because I'm the only Wait, this Star Wars my... movie that just came out or the one before that one? No, no, the last one that I forgot the title of. Um <laughs> What is it? Force Awakens? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um but cuz like I'm the only person around here that likes sci-fi movies. So, which was kind of funny because the theater, I, I assumed like, oh, it's Star Wars. The theater's going to be crowded. I'm barely going to get a seat. And there was quite a few empty seats. Like there was maybe like 15 people in there. There's not as many, like you go into these big theaters and they're just nowhere near as filled as they used to be. And I remember that when I was like, you know, like, six years old I remember going watching Jurassic Park 3 that theater was filled <laughs> now you go to these uh, what uh, me and my friends saw um, we saw Deadpool and there was a woman with like a baby in there watching Deadpool <laughs> what the heck? there was people upset about Deadpool because they said it was a uh, very they brought their kids and it was offending or whatever and people was like, well, no, duh, it says rated R on it. <laughs> right, and, like, you literally could not possibly know about Deadpool without knowing that it's gonna be offensive. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's yeah. no way you can walk into a movie, like, you, can, you can't walk into a theater and buy tickets for a movie called Deadpool. And that's what Deadpool. makes me more angry more than anything, dude. <laughs> it's not just Deadpool, it's just other things, like rated M games, R, or whatever. And people are like, yeah, this game is shouldn't be people... bad or whatever. But in reality, and there's it's... a reason why it has a rating. You know? Like, if you yeah. can't read the rating and, and you're going like... to say it's offensive, then that's your own fault. No one else's. It, it... Yeah, and most of the time it's just parents who don't want to take, like, responsibility for raising children. So yeah. they have to blame, like, the products are influencing them. It's definitely oh, yeah. not them yeah. ignoring <laughs> that they're playing things they don't want them to play or listening to music or watching movies. Or they're just wanting to complain to be heard, I guess, too. I think there's some people out yeah, there who just complain like, just to complain. Like, I, I remember, like, with um, uh, my state used to have, like, summer reading programs. I don't know if all states did, but I know our schools did, where, like, over the summer you had to, like, read a book and, like, do a little, like, report on it. And um, there was a... Uh, you had to get it, like, signed by certain people. Uh, and, like, your parent had to sign that you worked on it. And, you know, there was a parent who complained, like, how am I supposed to read with my child? And, like, one, they don't really have to read. They just have to sign their name saying the child read. But, like, <laughs> I just think it's funny how, like, parents never take the blame for, like, anything relating to their child. It's always got to be someone else's fault or a product's fault. Well, anyway, off that topic, um, Brandon, watch any mm -hmm. good anime lately? I have, and you, I have some recommendations for you. Yes, I do. You okay. need to watch Tortora. Uh -huh. You need to watch One Punch Man. You need to watch, uh... Hold on. Should I get a pen and paper out? Yes, you should. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, what was that one? Uh, oh yeah, Mob Psycho 100. Uh, you should watch... Also watch... What was that one? Oh yeah, Rotharia plus Vampire. Okay. Okay, and I will... I, I, will, I, will, I will say start with Torador first because it... It will, um... You know what you need will, to do, uh, Brandon, for your YouTube channel? You need to do, yeah. like, anime <laughs> recommendations. <laughs> I do. Huh? Yes. There are channels like based on that. I've seen yep. I've seen channels just based on anime reviews, so Yeah. 
like glass glass reflection he he, he does uh I, I i get all, all of my, my recommend, recommendations from him almost um uh, and they're, they're they, the way he 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 uh he, he explains the anime and stuff like it goes goes into detail about the anime it's really good i do i do re- recommend this channel if, if if you guys ever want to check him out huh did um did you see that um kiss anime got like taken down or technically it's like they're doing some sort of server upgrade but it's been like almost a week now yeah, I did see about that, but I I don't I don't use Kiss Anime. I use either Hulu or Crunchyroll or Netflix, you know, stuff like that. Legally, right? Because you like to pay for stuff. Well, it's it's a it's a way to, for me to actually make sure that I that we do have more uh more anime in the future. Yeah, I I can agree with that, but I don't have the money. To be like buying stuff all the time, so I just Hulu seven dollars and ah crap. I, I don't got, have. I, <laughs> I don't have six dollars a month, so yeah, he yeah. has a whole penny a month. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks for the contribution. Yes. Um, By um... the way, guys, if you hear how sad his story was, just leave a like and and leave a comment below and leave and let, let let us know if you would donate to his uh troubling for just time. pennies a day you can save the life of one i have to start i have to start a donation button just strictly for chief <laughs> yep and that way and have he, Sarah. He, uh you 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 can also help him get his gtx uh 970 yeah say for pennies yep. of, for just pennies of the day Help poor Chief experience PC gaming like he has never before by donating to him getting a GTX 970 or for getting him anime movies and video games that he can't afford <laughs> to get himself and to experience some great, awesome anime. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, <laughs> you're gone. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we should all. We can also start a third donation to um, hire Sarah McGaugh- McLaughlin or whatever her name is. Is that the woman oh, that yeah. does the um, the really sad song? Yeah. For... Um, no, it's. Uh... Is that not her name? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know if it's her name or not. Um, I, I don't think it was. It was. Uh... Oh, what was her name? I'm gonna just Google it. Yeah, just Google it. Uh, but anyway. Uh, yeah, back to anime. You should really check out those animes, like, like Torador especially. Torador is one of my favorite romance animes. Because I've seen it, a it, little bit of it, but I never finished I know you it. Have. Yeah, speaking yeah, of anime, it, exactly, I would like to. You've never finished it. I would like to get into some anime shows myself. Honestly, I like to watch certain ones, and not only that, I like to start playing. Uh, I, I like to get Final Fantasy and start that. <laughs> I mean, that'd be something. Yeah. Um, Speaking of Final have... Fantasy, the uh, the fifth and fifteenth one is really good so far. Of what I played, the I will say the story is kind of stupid. Right. Well, the concept of the story is kind of stupid, but like everything else. It, 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 now, it's, everybody who hears that comment, just know I didn't say it. Go to his channel and dislike <laughs> his videos. Not my. Well, no. See, the concept of the story is you're 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 going to a different content to get married. That's it. Yeah, I mean, I I saw where the story. A lot of people say. I mean, they said it was uh, not up. Um, I've heard people say it's not on par with the like older ones. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I mean, they did say it was still pretty good, and yeah, it was still it, enjoyable. Yeah, it's good. It's just the concept is kind of stupid. The concept. The story is good. I guess it's not about the. Uh, guess it's not about the destination. It's about the journey to get there. I, I think. Speaking that's, of that yeah. too, you all. You, you, I also do recommend uh, Shamra, uh, Samurai Champloo. It's also about the the, the journey instead of the, the destination. I always think when people recommend that to me, they're saying Samurai Shampoo. That's what <laughs> I was thinking. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's spelled uh, C H A M P L O O. 
Um, I want. Well, I have a recommendation. What is your I have recommendation? A show called uh, it's called Arslan Senki, something like oh, that. Oh yeah, I don't it's forgot. Extremely. It. <laughs> it, it's extremely good. It's definitely the type of show I think you'd be able. I think you'd enjoy the lot, Seth. It kind of has some like. It, it kind of has some like Game of Thrones vibes every now and again, just from like the, because it kind of has to do with um, like it's basically Japanese, uh, cartoon Game of Thrones. Kind of, In yeah. Like every now and again, they start dealing with like the like succession of the king and stuff like that, and who the rightful heir to a throne is. You know, speaking about all uh, these uh, animes and Japanese stuff, but I want. You guys to get Ace Combat Seven. It's going back, and this is why I've been wanting to tell Chief. Actually, it's going back to the um, original world of Ace Combat. It's not actual Earth. It's going back Ace Combat to um, the world of you know. I told you about the Belkin War and all that stuff, dude. Like those games have some of the best stories I've ever played for a jet. I mean, it's a jet fighting game, but it has some of the best stories I've ever played. <laughs> And when I'm you hoping... first started pronouncing the J in Jet, I thought you were just saying they had good stories for Japanese games. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I, no. It, it is enjoyable, and I want you guys to pick it up. Or, or the old ones, and now that I know it's going back, and I'm not saying this one is going to be like that, but I'm happy to hear that it's going back to that. I'm not sure what the original world was called, but that world to me means a lot and that's where all their good stories take place the most recent ones that take place on earth um mm -hmm. they're not they're good but they're not like horizon was good and infinity was okay for a free-to-play game but it wasn't true ace combat in my opinion not like the originals mm -hmm. like they have some really good compelling stories and ace combat 7 i'm hoping because I want you guys to get in it, and I want other people to get in it, because them games should get more than what they deserve. Honestly, I wish they would make it re, uh, remastered of all the old ones. Mm -hmm. um, I guess on the topic of uh, games not living up to their predecessors, <laughs> is is anyone out there actually planning on buying the next Metal Gear where they've thrown away all the espionage, all the... I know Kojima's planning the, on buying it. All the Cold War, just so they can uh, have an alternate dimension zombie game. I, I know I Kojima. Guess? I know Kojima's <laughs> gonna buy it. <laughs> I, I don't know. That makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> it is stupid, but who cares? Like, Metal Gear died with Metal Gear Solid like... Five, and that's the way it should be. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Metal Gear. His new Metal game Gear. that he's working on, Death, Str Death Stranding. Oh my God, that game looks crazy. It is so far. I have no idea what it's gonna be. I know it's so <laughs> out there. You can't predict what it is. You can't yeah. really read it. Yeah. Norman so. Norman Reedus is kind of like making an odd like comeback as an actor since like The Walking Dead, and now he's getting into video games. Because, like, you know, he kind of stopped appearing in stuff he after, could like, be the huge 90s, in video I think. Games. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he could be huge in video games, I think. I really it, think. He actually, you know, you wouldn't know it because most of his character, like, the only character most people know him as is Daryl from The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. So you may only know him as his country accent. But he actually has decent vocal range. If you've seen uh, Boondock Saints, he uh, played an Irish uh um, like bounty hunter type guy, not really bounty hunter, yeah. kind of just a, kind of just a killer. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and wasn't then like... he, also, he also he also played in Blade uh, as a little yeah. He he sounded like Spanish friend. in that, didn't he? Yeah, it was kind of like a, mm, mm, it's kind of like a l weird English but like Mexican. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, I'm not like gonna say English. He, you know, he's definitely like not the most amazing at voices, but he's not terrible no. at them. Like, no, he's he no, no, his... he, I think what makes him really, I think, good on screen and I guess in video games is his character. Mm -hmm. You know that. Yeah. And when I say character, I don't mean like his voice or his way of acting. It's more, it's his looks. I guess it's it's just it's he is. Um, I don't know how to ex explain that without sounding kind of gay. 
Um, <laughs> he, he just fits his characters well. Yeah, I mean, he, 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 like, just the way he looks, I guess. He just seems like he could be an interesting character, whether he's the main yeah. character yeah. or the side character. That's where he goes yeah. off. It, it, and I guess you could say that's it, acting. It, it, I don't know, but it's just you look at him and you're like, hmm, you know, that guy seems like he has an interesting background. Or, hmm, he looks like he could be a potential interesting character in anything. Obviously, in The Walking Dead, we didn't. I know when I first seen him in The Walking Dead, with, you know, him and obviously his brother, that other actor, I don't forgot his name, but he instantly Michael caught Rupert. my attention. Yeah. He instantly caught my attention. And I was like, wow, you know, this guy with the crossbow out in the apocalypse, you know, he, with the, you know, the motorcycle and everything, that, that, that to me caught me instantly. Like, I guess you could say that's acting. <laughs> Speaking of you using know, a crossbow in the zombie apocalypse, that that sounds like a stupid weapon to use. Well, you're stupid. Actually, it would have <laughs> some benefits just because it's quiet. It, it is quiet, but if, if you're surrounded, you have you ever loaded a crossbow? It takes yeah, a while. Yeah, it takes a while. Well, <laughs> what what does he do when he gets... I feel like most of the time when he gets surrounded, he just like stabs them with the arrows. People. If y'all I mean, have played Dead Rising, y'all know how to survive the apocalypse. Again, beat him to death. We have never with, played Dead Rising. <laughs> beat him to death with an electrified dildo, yeah. or a dildo cannon, or a or What else? What else can you do with dildos in Dead Rising? I feel like there's a lot of options. <laughs> Everything but what they have intended. I don't, I, I don't <laughs> know about Dead Rising, but I do know. I do know in Saint Saint Row, it could be used as a like a baseball bat kind of thing. Kind yeah, of thing. it was actually a yeah. baseball bat within the dildo. Yeah, I remember that. You know, Saint Row the Third, I think, was um, the last good Saint Row, and the new ones I don't really care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, yeah, I enjoyed the fourth one, but like not in the same way. Like I, like I liked it. One. I liked the fourth one because all the references were to sci-fi stuff that I understood. Mm-hmm. But, like, at the same time, it wasn't truly Saints Row. Like, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't really Saints Row to me. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I really liked that Keith David was in it, who is the guy that plays um Anderson in Mass Effect. Yeah, yeah and Ma- I really Mass like Effect. him. Mm-hmm. Greatest games ever. Yeah. No argument from anyone. <laughs> um, yeah, and they had quite a few good actors. Um, the uh, guy that played... Um, I know the guy that played Bailey was uh, in like a few other movies where he just played like miscellaneous Irish people. Bailey? Who, 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 who's, who's Bailey again? In Mass Effect, Bailey is the chief. Oh, of Mass Se- well, I don't know if he's he's not really like a chief of anything. He's just a security guard who becomes I think he a becomes slightly chief more police, glorified character. Not? Kind of. Uh, I don't know if chief is the rank, but he basically becomes the leader of uh, CSEC. Right. Or like one of the higher ups. That's of another it. game that I'm looking and... forward to is the new Mass Effect. I oh, was yeah. hoping it ain't like Dragon Age uh, Inquisition, you know, because it kind of. I mean, it was good. It just compared to Dragon Age, the originals wasn't that good. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of other games that had of actors I really like. And as weird as this may sound, I'm well, have Call to say of Duty Black Infinite Ops Warfare 2. has one of my favorite <laughs> actors from Game of Thrones, that Jon Snow guy. But that's terrible. Right. That game sucks. If only, if only the rest of the game wasn't terrible. Yeah. Um, it, it is kind of funny, like uh. With Call of Duty, they always uh, model the characters like pretty much identical to the voice actors. Because like mm-hmm. when I saw that trailer, I was like, that villain like in the trailer looks really familiar. And like it took me a minute to realize it was Jon Snow. Like, That's the same second hair, time they've same, done that. Yeah, I mean, cause same in... facial hair. Because in Black Ops Three, they had that guy from Law and Order. I can't remember his name, but he's a good actor. I like him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you've ever if you've ever seen uh, Sam Worthington, who does the voice for Mason. He looks, uh, the character Mason is spot on to what Sam Worthington looks like. Uh, yeah. Michael Rooker, he did the voice for Harper in Black Ops 2. They're a little different, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. I guess they both are like gritty looking people. Michael Rooker is another like really awesome actor. But for some reason, he only gets casted to play like super racist characters. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. He kind of just fits it. <laughs> yeah. He 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 does. He has the like he has the like weird southern voice, but like it's You're like saying all southerners are racist? How racist of you? Pretty much. I mean, pretty <laughs> much. But um right. he uh I don't know, but he uh he played uh obviously he played um and if I Mole, remember correctly, Donald Dead. Trump won Wisconsin and Ohio and Pennsylvania. Those are all <laughs> northern states. <laughs> um yeah. But Michael, uh, if you've seen uh, Mississippi Burning, Michael Rooker. Oh was yeah, that the, movie's um, crazy. Michael Rooker is the white guy that shoots the uh, kids. Yeah. Yep. I like how I had. To, I like how I had. To, I just realized I said Michael Rooker is the white guy that shoots the kids. <laughs> <laughs> um. And. I really like the actor Keanu Reeves. I might be the only person who likes him as an actor, but I think he's a good actor. No, Even yeah, he's, he's, he's a good actor. Like he he he, he, may... he, was, he was good in John Wick. Uh, yeah, he was. I, um... I, thought, I thought that was the closest. Like, like I, I'll admit, he's not the best at doing like emotional mm. stuff. Yeah, no, but when it not. comes to like when he's just like given a bunch of guns and told to kill stuff, he's awesome at it. Yeah. And, uh, also, and, in he, Man of Tai Chi, he was, he was pretty good. Uh, he played a pretty good villain, actually. Um. And uh, there was, all, of course, there's the Matrix movies. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um. Which... Then again, he, he he was just starting out, so you can't really consider his his, his career there. Well, I, I like him in the Matrix movies. I like. Yeah. I like all I the think, Matrix yeah. movies. Yeah. yeah, I think he. Yeah. I, I, I know some I, people. I with Matrix movies. Yeah, I know that's, a lot that's, of people. Like I know I'm a little late, but honestly, that's kind of one reason why I'm liking uh, DSX. You know, playing it on the 360. I mean, it kind of reminds me. It, it reminds me of D, it reminds me of uh, the Matrix, but it also reminds me of a little bit of a uh, Mass Effect to it as well. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I tell you what, you need to if you like if you're enjoying DSX, you really need to get around to looking up Ghost in the Shell. Because yeah. Ghost in the Shell and Dia's X are super similar in like yeah, they are. in like oh, the world they're they like just... Dia's X or I mean Ghost in the Shell is like by far my favorite like anime show I've ever watched. Whether or not mm-hmm. the live action movie that's gonna be coming out is gonna be good, I don't know. I, yeah. I true. Like the, kind of I, 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 the, I think the, the, the I think the only thing I'm hyped for is Scarlett Johansson. I mean, everybody wants to see Scarlett Johansson in another skin-tight outfit, but <laughs> um, I mean, that's the only thing that like I worry about is that um, obviously she played Black Widow, and mm-hmm. I don't want I don't know considering what I don't want her to try to be Black Widow again because I could see like the similarities in the characters they're mm-hmm. both like the strong yeah. female protagonist stealthy mm-hmm. and they're, they're, they're um, both like the, they're both supposed to be like the CIA major uh, like you know like that stuff right mm-hmm. but they're also and super like but Modico yeah. is a really interesting character with way more mm-hmm. depth than any like Way more deaf than Black Widow. Yeah. At least more deaf than they've given her in the uh, mm-hmm. Avengers. Mm hmm. Um, but. Also, uh, wow, the guy that that's playing. Uh, match, the guy that's Sorry. playing. Um, the guy that's playing Bato looks a little funny. Like, it. I was able to get past the, like, funny looking, like, white robot eyes in the show. And mm-hmm. I, I think they make mm-hmm. sense because it was supposed to be, like, all former US Rangers have those like eye implants but seeing mm-hmm. it in live action they look hilarious cuz it's like he just has little white like it's like he just has little white caps over his eyes <laughs> I know this is going to be a little off topic but I'm going to bring well, up um <laughs> actually Cedar I was wondering um have you been able to play Xbox mm-hmm. your Xbox one yet you got or I have not actually. It is in my floor right here, still in the box. What the heck? I need to set it up. I know. I need to set it up. Dude, yeah, I you had that a... for like how long? Two months now? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, no, I, I, I've, I've had it since Black Friday. 
Wow. So I can't wait until the Scorpio comes out. That's that's what I'm yeah. looking for. I can't wait until Chief gets his computer fixed so we can actually play computer games with him. I mean, there's a lot of games on there I want to yeah. play with him. Yeah. I, I, yep. I'm 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 getting getting a weekend off soon, so uh, I, I I'll, I'll probably set it up then. Yeah. And you know what, too, Exeter, like, um, honestly, once Chief gets his computer, you mm -hmm. can get, you already have Dino Crisis, but we can get him to get Dino Crisis, and we need to get Killing Floor, so we can just start that out for, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think those games would be just fun to play. I've never played them myself. Well, I mean, yeah, I've played Dino Crisis with you, and that's why I'm saying Chief should get it, because me and you already own that, too. And those type of games are really fun for PC, and that's something I think... Whether people disagree with me or not, but I think the, like Killing Floor and Dino Crisis and really games like that, like Chief mm -hmm. earlier was talking about, how you know mouse and keyboard wasn't really his thing. Obviously, it makes sense because he's new, but those games I think do a great job of bringing you into getting used to mouse yeah. and keyboard. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Are, 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 you, are you talking about the the, the nine nine cent game? That, yeah. That, that we, that we oh, got? I'm talking about. Oh, I oh, call right. it Dino Crisis, didn't I? Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, yeah. Well, I, that was one of my childhood Orange games, but uh, no, it was uh, God, what is it? Orion, Prelude, Orange, whatever. Orion, yeah, yeah, yeah. Orion I wanted to call it Osiris. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that yeah. other one. Um, but yeah, yeah. Get your Xbox One hooked up too, because um, I have an Xbox One. I don't have the S or whatever, but I do enjoy it. But that's because I don't know. I wanna. I'm waiting for that Scorpio to come out because I'm definitely gonna picking that up. I got the Pro. And Pro is really nice. Um, obviously, the Scorpio mm -hmm. is gonna be more powerful or whatever. But um. yeah, like actually, for, for for me, I've I've been I've been selling a lot of the, a lot of the Slims, uh, the PS4 Slims. Some of them have been selling a lot of those and the uh, the one X is at work. Uh, yeah, well, I, I mean I that probably makes sense. I, I mean games. I guess a lot of people are gonna buy the cheapest ones, and plus the mm -hmm. Xbox One S is already a good deal to begin with. Um, Mm -hmm. Especially the fact that it plays Blu-ray, 4K, you know, movies or whatever when the PS4 Pro don't. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It does 4K streaming and gaming, but not 4K, you know, Blu-ray. And mm -hmm. that's something yeah. I think Scorpio is really going to have mm -hmm. on. Because we all know they're going to have a 4K Blu-ray player in Scorpio. Yeah. And we already know it's going to have six teraflops. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I really think this console that they're coming up this upcoming year... It's gonna mm -hmm. be really beast, like, and I don't know how much it's gonna be. I'm hoping four or five hundred dollars, maybe. Yeah, same, same, same. Because if it goes any yeah, higher than problem. that, then mm, mm -hmm. you might as well just stay on PC. <laughs> yeah. Because like, I, I was uh, off of Seth. I, I do have a question uh, for the Xbox One. Uh, I got the S, and it says it uh, plays select 360 games. Yeah, it's uh, backwards compatible. That uh, um, you can find that on um, if you own the disc, which I think eventually they're mm -hmm. going. I think they plan on for every 360 game is. But if yeah. you get gold, not only can mm -hmm. you get games for Xbox One for gold and play them, but you can also get mm -hmm. games for gold for your 360. And even though you don't own a 360, you can still play on your Xbox One. Mm -hmm. Cool. And uh, but like, yeah, I, most of your 360 games will probably play on it. You can look it up. Like uh, what mm -hmm. games run on it? They're uh, they're adding new ones like every week. It seems like uh, I think all the Halo, well, some of the Halos. Uh, I don't know mm -hmm. what kind of three hundred and sixty games you got. And I could probably tell you. Uh, Halo. Well, I ju I just just gave away a lot of them, uh, to my uh to my uh my, my dad's cousin because right. he, he, he I gave away my my three hundred and sixty. I don't need them more. Well, it, uh, it, it can keep... play Gears of War and stuff like that. I mean, oh, yeah. and if you own the disc, you'll run just like normal. And that's one thing I have to give Microsoft props. Like something PS mm -hmm. PlayStation, I don't think can do, and probably never will do. I'm just hoping yeah. that Xbox will eventually go and have all the 360 titles. That that's one that, or you know, something like that. That'd be really cool. Uh, and then go and get the original titles from the mm -hmm. original Xbox, and that that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Um, but yeah, I I I I kept my old 360 uh, like uh, Gears of War, and I do believe oh I, I kept my Fable Fable three. Oh yeah, dude, I love Fable. I got Fable one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. And all the yeah. Fable three and two should run on your Xbox One. However, Fable one 
and Fable, or Fable Anniversary, I should say, um, will mm-hmm. not. Um, and I don't know why yeah. you would think they would just do that, but I don't know what, 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 what the problem is there. But I do know, I'm pretty sure 2 and 3 will run on it. Which, 2 yeah. and 3 is the best anyway. Like, I like 1. Yeah, they are. But 2 and 3 is the best. And honestly, a lot of people will disagree with me on this, but I think 3 was the best. And people think I'm crazy when yeah, I say it, that. Yeah, it was really good. But a lot of... Like, I mean... Okay. <laughs> but a lot of people, you know, disagree with that. Mm-hmm. So. But, I mean, I really like it. So. Yeah. Who to uh, to, br- <laughs> <laughs> to anybody who is currently to, watching this video, I don't know if it will show anybody joining or leaving or not. <laughs> yeah, somebody like, randomly I, joined our party. Yeah, um, like <laughs> what? I thought he was going to join the stream and everything else. I didn't know. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. I'm yeah. I was kind of worried about that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. To bring thing something back a little bit, you mentioned uh, what was it a teraflop? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a teraflop. Yeah, what is a teraflop? <laughs> um, it's like a it's it's the speed of the GPU or whatever. It's like uh, you got oh like the so PS4 it's not like... Okay. It, 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 it does like determine gra- it is graphical power. I mean, it determines like like how good your games are going to look, what games it can run, you know, or how powerful it you know like. Um, my Titan X has, I think, seven teraflops, seven point five mm-hmm. or something. I can't remember. I, I'm pretty sure it's seven. I think it's honestly eight seven. Um, uh, uh-huh. the PS4 Pro is a four point two. Um, mm-hmm. the original PS4 is only point one point eight six. The Xbox mm-hmm. One is a one point two three. The Xbox One S mm-hmm. is the same. It just has a better processor for four K, I think, and. Mm-hmm. For the Scorpio, it's going to have six teraflops, which is pretty freaking good huh. considering I have a Titan. And I'm not saying obviously the newer cars that have you know better chip design do run 4K better than my Titan, mm-hmm. uh, just because they have better. They they was designed for 4K, but this that's still that's it's just still crazy to think that a console has six teraflops. PS4 with its 4.2 teraflops is still pretty good, but I mean six mm-hmm. is pretty you know that's even better so. Now, whether people mm-hmm. will capitalize on capitalize on that or not, I don't know, because people are not going to j- jump ship on PlayStation. Let me tell you right now, PlayStation is for everybody who is listening. People are not going to jump ship, you know, PlayStation. You know, they're not they're not going to say, well, the Xbox One has sold 20 million, the PS4 sold 60 million. Let's um, f- completely forget that and focus on Xbox One in terms of its graphical power. I'm pretty sure there'll be some extras, mm-hmm. just like the Pro. Will they go all out on it? I don't think they will, just because the Pro will be the one that would hold it back. Um, mm-hmm. Because it's, it, it is weaker. Is it weak enough to where it could be a noticeable difference? No, like, even if someone, I guess, did, would it be a tremendous difference? It could be, or it could not. It, 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 it just depends on what it is. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, you're going to notice a difference, I guess, in terms of native and non-native 4K, but that's the only thing I think it's going to be really that big of a notice to people. Mm-hmm. Um, not only that, if it has a 4K Blu-ray player, I mean, that's obviously a win for anybody looking to buy a console. Mm-hmm. So, I think that could hurt Sony, but in terms of actual gameplay, you just kind of got to mm-hmm. wait and see. I mean, it's not like... I. It's one of them things I just can't really answer because I don't know what the developers are going to do with it. You know, they might... Yeah. They might actually go all out on it and do things I'm not. And consoles are different from PC, and I think a lot of people from the PC community seem not to understand that. Like, it's it's crazy to think what you can do on a console. You know that mm-hmm. takes quite a you know quite a bit on PC, and it's not because your PC is garbage or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, um, it looks like we can solve that. Seth's experiencing technical difficulties, <laughs> but honestly, the main reason I wanted to bring this back is just because I just love that whoever came up with that measurement decided to call it a teraflop. <laughs> yeah. It has to be one of my favorite measurements. 
behind a butt load, which I've come to learn is a real measurement. And uh, I had to look up an article while Seth was talking just so I could learn more about a butt load. But apparently <laughs> a butt... <laughs> apparently a butt is a traditional unit of measurement or a volume a traditional unit of volume used for wine and a butt mm. is generally defined to be two and this is another favorite two hog sheds uh yeah my yeah uh, no, not... not only that I was called into the other room so <laughs> <laughs> but a butt is two hog sheds with, of wine I'm about that as well you know what's kind of funny? We got completely... When you brought that up, I went on a completely entire, like, in-depth analysis of, like, what it is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just wanted to talk about buttloads. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you, you were there to hear that, right, Seth? I heard something. A, I was walking. <laughs> a buttload a butt load is a unit of volume used to measure, like, wine, and a butt is generally defined as two hog sheds <laughs> but the size of a hog shed varies according to the contents of the hog shed in the united states a hog shed is typically 63 gallons and a butt is 126 gallons and i don't okay. know exactly what any of that means but i just think it's funny yeah it is speaking of funny and uh, a hog shed. I was I was watching Breaking Bad a uh, uh, couple couple of days ago, and uh, the the uh, the other the, uh, Jesse, which is one of the characters in in the uh, in the show, brings up a point where uh, <laughs> he saw a cow house, not a barn, a cow house. A cow house. <laughs> <laughs> it's like really. You don't know what it's called. It's a it's a barn. Seriously. But yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Like, uh, have, 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 have you been watching? Uh, uh, have, have you watched Breaking Bad or no? I watched nope. a little bit. Yeah, like uh, I watched it a little bit too. Like I, I'm I'm trying to get into it. Like it it it's a little confusing at first, and it's hard to get into because there's nothing happening at all. In season one, right. so far, there's nothing happening. It's like, there's no, like, big... Yeah, there's no, like, big things happening. And so, at the moment, it's hard to get into, but, of course, like, everything... Sometimes it takes a while to, for it to get into, like... Um... Like, uh, like, uh, the, bringing back the anime, uh, Rosary Plus Vampire, I recommend season two over season one. Because season two is a whole lot more, uh, funnier than season one is. Oh. Yeah. But, of course, and... season, but of course you need to watch season one because it meets all the characters and stuff like that. Yeah. And a lot of, um, a lot of, like, writers for shows, movies, books, like, it, it's important to like make your exposition like thorough enough to explain the world, but not make it to the point where people are sick of hearing about it. Mm -hmm. Like you can't let it drag on too long. Yeah. Well. And uh, I think we might be about out of time <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think this is yeah. where we're going thank to go ahead guys. and uh, end this podcast here so um mm -hmm. thank you guys for tuning in to the first installment of the off topic podcast we hope you mm -hmm. all enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one yeah yep. you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, podcast please hit a like button hit the subscribe button below for more great content and also go check out the red cult and Stuttering Skies channel, uh, even though they only have one video, go ahead and show them some support. <laughs> Maybe they'll finally start yeah. uploading if they have somebody actually watching it. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, again, if if, if 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 you want to check out some good Naruto combat, uh, check out my uh, my my channel for, for the stream. Yeah. Well, you guys really like stream. So He's getting off topic again. <laughs> But anyway, guys, take it easy. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.